Barbara. She already told us that she and her friend were attacked. Then she was bitten by a dog. What? And you just believed her? You should have put her out of her misery right there. Dog bite my ass. I'm not... <gasps> Keep your finger off the trigger, boy. Whoa! Whoa! What the fuck? You idiot! Every lurker for five miles probably heard You're the that. one telling me to fucking shoot her. Everybody just calm down for a second. Clementine, you okay? I'm not... I'm not working for anyone. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. I just need help. We got a doctor right here, okay? He'll have a look. Now what the hell is wrong with you people? Okay, she's just scared. We're all scared, Luke. Don't act like we're the ones being irrational because we don't buy this bullshit story. No way she survived out here on her own. Why are we even arguing about this? Let me take a look. <sighs> it's okay. Go ahead, he's a doctor. Must have hurt. Hmm. Whatever it was, it got you good. This isn't how we do things, man. When you're bit, you get put down. End of story. I'm not going through this again. No one's suggesting that. We could take her arm off. <gasps> I know that worked for a cousin down in Ainsworth. We could try that. It won't do any good. You'll just be making it worse for the girl. It's crazy. No one's going to volunteer to do that. I would, if it means saving her life. Then what? You don't want to do something you're going to regret. Better to be sure, right? Come on. She weighs about as much as a sack of flour. We can take her if it comes to that. Who's she? Sarah. What I say, stay inside. It really, really hurts. And it's only gonna get worse. A dog, you say? Do you think it could have had rabies? Out here? Who knows? Right now, that's the least of your concerns. Look, I don't know what the hell took a bite out of her, but still, she's just a kid. Worst case, she turns, and we can deal with it. So, what do you think? Was it a lurker? A bite like that? Could be anything. Only one way to find out. How? We wait. What? By tomorrow morning, if the fever's set in, we'll know if she's gonna turn. In the meantime, we can lock her in the shed. What about my arm? It needs to get cleaned and, and stitched and bandaged. The girl is in bad shape, Carlos. We have all that stuff inside the cabin. We could probably get by Alvin, please. But yeah, we can't do nothing. I'm not wasting supplies on a lurker bite. If it turns out you're telling the truth, I'll clean it and stitch it up for you in the morning. But... I'm sorry. It's the best we're gonna get. Finger off the trigger, son. I ain't your son. Don't be like that, man. It's all right. The boy's got his mom's temper. Come on. This is just a waste of time. You'll see. And when she turns, I ain't gonna be the one cleaning up the shit. It was a dog. You'll see. I guess we'll find out in the morning. If I last that long, maybe you could go look for it? I wish I could. I really do, but it's too risky. Sorry.
Why are we doing this? It's fucking dumb. Because it's safer this way, and I'd rather be sure. Yeah, safe. <sighs> I can't believe this. Not much left in here. I guess if I have to, I can use this for stitches. stitches. House meeting in five minutes. Bet. That's good. It won't take long. There's a few things we need to discuss. Fine. has more to say, I guess. Where's Sarah? She's got her book. She doesn't need to be a part of this. Somebody. There's no way she's out here by herself. She said she was with a friend. Whoever she's with, they'll probably come looking for her. Great. They show up and we've got her locked in the shed. You think we should bring her in here? No, I'm just saying it wouldn't look good. It's just a precautionary measure. Anyone else would do the same. 
You really think Carver would come after us? You think he wouldn't? Not exactly bandages, but they should help stop the bleeding. You're not supposed to be in here. Hi. Can you please help me? I'm not supposed to talk to you. My dad can't know. Help me, and I won't tell him. I... I'm hurt. Please help me. I, well, I shouldn't. To you. A dog bit me. Sounds scary. I bet it hurts. I could die if I don't take care of it. Do you understand? I need something to clean it with. And I need a needle with thread to sew it up. Do you know where those things are? My dad has some stuff for cleaning with the supplies. Kind of burns. I don't... I don't know if he has stuff for sewing, though. Really? Seems like he would. We don't have much. He's still trying to restock since we moved. I'll help you. Good. Thank you. I'm Sarah. I'm Clementine. We're friends. Right? We can be best friends. I haven't met another girl my age since way before. It's hard to be the only girl, you know? Rebecca is okay, but she's old. And that's it. And if her baby is a girl, it'll be forever before she's old enough to, like, be my friend. And then I'll be super cool. Yes, we are friends. Promise? It's important. Friends have to trust each other, no matter what. I promise. Me too. Friends. Pinky swears forever. I'll see if I can find the stuff my dad uses when I get a gun. Let me look around. I think this is it. That'll work. You can't do it here, though. Someone will find you. Don't worry. I won't. Thanks, Sarah. It's clean. I need. I better get out of here.
that man sometimes. need to have this baby. <laughs> This is gonna suck. Fun part. No, just like last time, just how Krista showed me.
Never was. And you left me out here to die. You patched yourself up? Where'd you get that stuff? Did she steal from us? This doesn't change a thing. She hasn't done anything to us. Says the man not carrying a baby. Enough already. Guys, please. You left me no choice. You could have just left. <sighs> Relax, Rebecca. Bring her in, and I'll take a look at her arm. Damn luck is sneaking around out here. We better get inside. You hungry? This might hurt a little. Ow. How she look? Her suturing skills need some work, but otherwise, I say she should be fine. So, it wasn't a lurker bite? If it was, the fever would have already set in, and her temperature would be through the roof. You wouldn't have done what you did. I was hurt, and you weren't helping. Because we considered you a threat, which you were. Maybe you still are. No, I'm not. We put you in that shed out of concern for the safety of our loved ones. And then you escaped and persuaded my daughter to steal from us. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt, but there are a few things you need to know about my daughter. Okay. She isn't like you. You may not get that initially, but once you're around her for a while, you'll understand. If she knew how bad the world is, what it's really like out there, she would cease to function. She's my little girl. She's all I have left, and I would ask that you stay away from her. 
I'm sorry. I didn't know. It's okay. You're forgiven. Just don't make any more mistakes. Hey, uh, brought you some food if you're hungry. That's gonna leave one hell of a scar. Better than losing it. Well, you can say that again. Scars? They're way cooler than stumps. What? Nothing. I just had a friend who lost his arm once. That's all. Hey, look. I just want to say I'm sorry for... Well, for being a dick out there. I got kind of aggro, and that was definitely not cool. Nick's been known to go off every once in a while. Don't hold it against him. Yeah, I guess we all have our moments. You definitely had one out there. You were just protecting your friends. I get it. Well, I didn't mean to be so harsh. I just... Uh, we had a bad experience once. We've all had bad experiences. Nick lost his mom. We took care of someone who got bit. It was my fault. I... It was no one's fault. We thought we could control it, but we couldn't. And then she turned, and his mom was standing right there, and she got attacked. And there was nothing we could do about it. Anyway, hopefully you understand. I do. Yeah. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? I don't know. I'm kind of on my own now. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. You can let yourself heal up, take some time to sort things out. Do you think everyone else will be okay with it? They'll just have to deal with it. So, what happened to your parents? If you don't mind me asking. I mean, I assume what happened to them is what happened to just about everyone's parents. You're just so young. Didn't think you could have made it on your own for so long, but maybe you did. They died. That's tough. I, uh, I lost my folks, too. Hey, I'm sorry. I... I shouldn't have asked. My parents went on vacation and left me with a babysitter. And they never came back. We went to Savannah to find them. But they were already dead. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. This man found me and took care of me. We met up with other survivors and we all tried to make it. But it didn't work. His name was Lee. He taught me how to survive. He taught me how to shoot a gun. What uh, happened to him? I killed him. He got bitten, protecting me. And I had to kill him before he turned. Wow. I had to. Uh, 
I hate to interrupt, but I'm out there standing watch and I can't help but notice this place is lit up like a goddamn beacon in the middle of the woods. Yeah, it's time to turn in anyways. I'll get your winks while you can, because we're going fishing at first light. A couple fresh brookies for dinner? Mmm, wouldn't that be nice? You're still here. I wouldn't get comfortable if I were you. Whose baby is it? Excuse me? If it's not Alvin's, whose is it? You shut your fucking mouth! You should probably think about being nicer to me. That's just my advice. I knew you were going to be a fucking problem. You got what you came here for. Now go. How you holding up? I heard you got an earful from Rebecca last night. Once she gets going, there's no bringing her back. Her bark's worse than her. What's her problem? Yeah, she's got a lot on her mind lately. Bringing a baby into a world like this. How far are these fish traps? It ain't much further. Anyone teach you how to shoot? By that I mean taught proper. Any idiot with a finger can shoot. My friend Lee taught me. That's good. It's important nowadays. Nick was about your age, first time I took him hunting. Came across this beautiful 13-point buck just standing there on the ridge line. The boy takes the rifle, he lines up the shot just like I taught him, and then I hear him start whining. He turns to me and he says, I can't do it. I can't shoot it, Uncle Pete. Please don't make me shoot it. Really? No way. Hey! Why didn't you wait? You want us standing around while you piss on a tree? You know where the river is, boy. Anyway, so I grab the gun out of his hand before the big buck runs off, when bang, the gun fires. Boy nearly gut shot me. And of course, the buck gets away. What are you going and telling her this shit for? Cause you almost blew her face off yesterday. Seems relevant. Trying to let her know it's nothing personal with you. Why are you always giving me a hard time? Because you're always giving everyone else a hard time. I apologized already. She accepted. It's fine. He apologized. You're always trying to embarrass me. You're doing a good enough job of that on your own. Leaving us again. I know where the fucking river is. So anyway, I found that buck later that season. Shot it right in the neck. Brought it up to my sister's figuring she'd want to freeze some of the meat. Nick didn't speak to me for weeks. Sometimes you gotta play a role. Even if it means people you love hate you for it. He doesn't hate you. Nick's father wasn't there much. And he was a piece of shit when he was. So it fell to me to keep him in line, raise him right. Meant I couldn't just be nice Uncle Pete. Uncle Pete! Nick! Jesus, Mary, and Joseph.
Ah, uh, full of holes. Who do you think did this? Not sure yet, but it ain't your average gang of thugs, that much I know. Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? Who's Carver? Check those guys there. Be careful. Some of them might still be moving. This one's shot too. Through the head? Yeah. Check the rest. And look for ammo. We're running low. There are more out there. This wasn't no rinky dink pissant match. What was it then? Fubar. Where are you going? We need to get the fuck out of here. Gotta check the rest. What? Why? Calm down and think about it, son. Calm down? We gotta get out of here now! Jesus Christ, get a hold of yourself! Shouldn't we go get the others? Wish we could, but one of these folks might still be alive, and they just might be inclined to tell us who did this. We gotta do this now. Stay here. Keep searching these. This is a dumb idea. You know, Nick, I don't like this either. But sooner or later, you're gonna have to realize a simple truth. What, that you're an asshole? That nobody in this world is ever gonna give a goddamn whether you like something or not. You gotta grow up, son. Whatever. Come on, Clem. You wanna be useful? Keep a lookout on that tree line. Whoever did this might still be out there, waiting for another sucker to stumble across this mess, just like baiting a fish. I'd be more useful with a gun. I don't doubt it. At some point, you guys have to trust me. Hell, I trust you. But not everyone's at that point yet. Give them time. Look, just keep your head on straight. Same deal. We shot to pieces. Hope this isn't anyone you know. You know. Yeah. Damn it. More on that side. You check out these ones. See if there's anything on them that'll tell us who they were. That's my backpack. <coughs> you were in the woods with Krista. The woman I was with. What happened to her? Please, tell me. Tell me! <coughs> Please. I'm fine. Just... just lost my footing. Damn it. God damn it. Lurkers! I'm out of ammo. Come this way, bitch. Damn it! You get your asses over here, both of I'll you! I'll cover you! We gotta get out of here! Get over here, god damn it! Can't you listen to me once? Saved him. How could you just? 
leave him. What are we gonna do? Someone came here looking for you. A man. What? Did he say what his name was? We know damn well who it was. Who is he? One of the guys we were with before. What's he gonna do? I can't keep going. I figure we got about four, five more days to reach those mountains. We ain't here to rob nobody. Just relax and put the gun down, man. You were dead. 